so one of the most common questions I get all the time on these videos is you guys ask how to set up FL Studio to record and basically how I set it up to record my videos. And then another question is how to use presets. So in this video, I'm going to do a two for one and we're going to answer both of those questions. But if you're an artist or a producer and you're anything like me and you came from Pro Tools or Logic, you probably understand that recording in both those DAWs is just a lot easier. But a lot of people overlook FL Studio. I'm telling you, it's a lot easier than and it may seem to actually record in FL Studio. In this video, we're going to pull up FL Studio and I'm going to show you guys how I made this template that makes it so easy for you guys to record. You don't have to do that thing where you have to double click the waveform and route it to a mixer track. It automatically does all that for you and it's just like an easy drag and drop method. So enough talking, let's actually jump into FL Studio and I'll show you how this works. All right, so I got FL Studio pulled up here and I have the Waves version of my vocal template pulled up right here. I'll have it linked down in the description below. You could either get the Waves version, the stock version, and, and both of those versions come with a blank version of this with no plugins on it at all. So you kind of like adjust it for how you want to use it. But obviously I have the Waves version pulled up because I have Waves plugins, so why not use them? But any of the versions that you pull up, it's going to look like this. This is how it's going to look when you pull it up originally. But right off the bat, you're going to notice that there are these colored playlist channels and the cool part about these is if you have the new FL Studio, you should have these buttons right here. You can mess around with your input, how it actually records, and then you could actually enable recording. And then the coolest part about this is what this is what makes FL Studio as close to Pro Tools as you can get it. Each one of these tracks is automatically routed over to the mixer track. So for example, this beat track is routed to this track right here, number 20. So any waveform that I put right here is going to automatically be routed to mixer track number 20. So for example, say I pull this template up and I want to start recording right away. Well, I'm going to go find a beat. So I'm going to grab a beat right here. I got this Yeet beat pulled up and I bring it right to the beat section and look at automatically routed to mixer track 20. But say for example, this wasn't a beat and this was a vocal that we just recorded. Say we record it in the hook section, but then later on we want to move it to the verse. So right now, as you can see, it's routed to mixer track one, which is the hook. But like I said, Maybe we want to move it to the verse. So we bring it down. And all we did was bring that down. It's automatically routed to mixer track number two. And this works for each and every one of these mixer tracks. You bring it down to doubles, routed to mixer track five. And if we go to our mixer, number five is doubles. So this is just a super cool part of FL Studio that a lot of people overlook that I think is just one of the best ways to record. So let's bring this back up to the beat. And then one thing, if you're recording, you always want to make sure you trim the silence out. So you could click S and then hold Alt on your keyboard. And it'll allow you to move it like this. And we're just going to take that silence away. And let's see if we can find the BPM. It looks like it is actually probably 145 or 44. All right, yeah, so 144 BPM, and we're all set. And one thing we're going to want to do is obviously turn this down a lot because it's very loud right now. And then here's the other great part about using a template like this. So, for example, say you had the blank one. You would go to your hook, and obviously there's a bunch of plugins on this right now. But for the sake of the video, let's imagine it was blank. You could just right click your blank track, go to file and load up whichever one of your presets you want to use. And you would just click, load it up and boom, you're ready to record. But obviously I'm using the waves version and I just had this mixed to like a very basic mix so we could just get everything going as I record. So for example, what I would do is I'd go to the beat, add auto key just so we could figure out what the key of this beat is. So I'll play it. And then it finds the key of the beat to be C major. So we're going to click send to autotune and every instance of autotune that I have opened up in this section will automatically be set to C major now. And then basically first thing I would do in this recording template is just bring up my reverb here. So I'll bring this knob up Then we'll just add some delay. And then for this instance, I know I'm going to want the ping pong delay on. So I'm just going to bring that to ping pong. We're just going to maybe bring the reverb up a little bit more. And I'm also going to go into fresh air and I kind of want this bright and then boom, we're set to record. So I would just throw my headphones on. We set my input. Let's take these off. So I set my input. Now we could hear ourselves into the mic. And then we're just going to play the beat and test gain levels. If our vocal isn't loud enough, I'm going to turn the beat down. You never want to bring your vocal up to match the beat. Always bring the beat down. Because if you're trying to match your vocal to the beat, you're going to leave no headroom in the end. And then you're not going to be able to actually master your track. Whereas if you start bringing your beat down to match your vocal, you'll be able to put a limiter on at the end of your master to actually bring that volume all the way up. Yeah, 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 I just, I just, I just it, I just, 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 I
bitch can't get that back, she on the run. Yeah, take this pill, let's go, let's have some fun. Yeah, she wanna go like this, let's get it done. Boom, there we go. So now we got, let me turn this stuff off. Now we got a little hook down. So all we gotta do now is obviously we wanna get some ad loops going. So what I usually do is just right click, file, save mixture track, select state as, and we'll move it to the ad libs right here. Then I'm gonna click F2 on my keyboard, recolor this to blue, click accept, and then change this back to ad libs. Now we got an ad lib track, so we're gonna turn this down. We're gonna bring some reverb up in this, and then a bunch of delay. And then I have my high pitch knob right here. If you watch my videos, you know what this is, but it's basically just auto-tune pitching it up, and then we're mixing it in with the normal vocal to get that yeet sound effect. Boom, so now we got a cool ad lib, and then I'm also gonna take this last fab filter off. We're gonna add a chorus, because it just sounds great for ad libs. And then we're gonna add a fruity stereo shaper and put the delay up. Boom, now we got a perfect ad lib. So we'll just go down here, enable our input on the ad libs and click the record button, and then we'll hear ourselves. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's how this go. I'll fuck that bitch two times a show and she the one. I'll fuck your bitch, can't get that back, she on the run. Yeah. Take this pill, let's go, let's have some fun Yeah, she wanna go like this, let's get it done Yeah, 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 it's how this go I fuck that bitch two times, for show her she the one I fuck your bitch, can't get that back, she on the run Yeah, take this pill, let's go, let's have some fun Yeah, she wanna go like this, let's get it done I mean, that's that's just literally too easy. And the cool part is you can switch between inputs, so like what you want to hear so easy. All you got to do is click this button. And now we're on the ad lib. Now we're on the hook. It's as easy as that. That's why using this template is just literally the best way to record. It makes it so easy. And for example, say I'm like, we want to do like a little intro right here. Woo, 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 woo. And we're like, oh shit, you know what? I actually want this on the ad libs. Just bring this right down to the ad libs. We're set. Yeah, 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 it's how this go I fuck that bitch two times for show sure, she the one Alright, I think all we gotta do next is do the doubles So we're gonna copy this back over to the doubles And we're just gonna throw the stereo shaper on here again And a little bit of chorus Just so we have something, something to do here A little bit of reverb And a bunch of delay then let's record some uh, some doubles. Let's rename this as well and recolor it. Boom. Doubles. I mean, look how fast this is. Now this is like a double ad lib track. And now we're on the doubles. Yeah. Let's take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how this go. I fuck that bitch two times for show sure, she the one. I fuck your bitch, can't get that back. She on the run. Yeah. Take this pill, let's go. Let's have some fun. Yeah. She wanna go like this. Let's get it done. Now we, got doubles down. now we got doubles down. So that's pretty much it for the video. I'm just going to let you guys listen to this one more time. I am going to throw my master preset on this. So we're going to go ahead and just load that up real quick. I'm going to disable this. And we're going to throw Studio Rack on here. Yeah, 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 it's how this go. I fuck that bitch two times for show sure, she the one. I fuck your bitch, can't get that back, she on the run. Yeah. Take this pill, let's go, let's have some fun Yeah, she wanna go like this, let's get it done That's it, that's as easy as it is right there I'm Telling you, this is like a, you need this, you need the template If you're recording in FL Studio, it's like pretty much a necessity I mean, you can make it yourself, it's super easy to do But obviously, it's available down in the description below if you wanna cop that But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this video And I will see you in the next one Doses <laughs>